We begin with the staggering losses on Maui as wildfires race across the island with a speed and ferocity that took everyone by surprise. Hundreds of homes and businesses destroyed, the death toll jumping overnight, and there are fears it could go even higher. The fire fueled by fierce winds and drought, nothing but a chimney left of this home. A new video from the first hours of the emergency, you can see buildings and shrubs catching fire, sparks spreading the flames. Maui's famous front street reduced to embers and smoke. Questions about whether the island's beloved banyan tree will survive. The satellite image from June tells the story of life there just days ago. And this is what it looks like today. The buildings in vibrant colors, no more. And at the already crowded airport, more buses arrive with tourists desperate to go home. Tonight, we have team coverage across the island from Maui's front street to hard hit neighborhoods to the shelters and the airport and the weather forecast and when the fire threat will end. ABC's Gio Benitez leads us off from Maui. Neighborhoods on Maui tonight in ruins. Fire ravaged communities reduced to rubble, embers still smoldering. Those explosive fires claiming at least 53 lives and fears tonight more bodies will be found. At sunup, we headed out by boat to see firsthand the staggering destruction of Hawaii's one-time capital, Lahaina, its shoreline scorched. Dramatic new drone video showing hundreds of homes and businesses in ashes. Right now we are in front of that famous front street here in Lahaina and you can just see it is completely destroyed. Home to so many historical landmarks, businesses, shops, restaurants and of course right there is that 150 year old banyan tree beloved by so many here. We walked through the streets witnessing apocalyptic scenes, homes, apartments, restaurants all leveled. So we've made it to Lahaina. This is as far as we can get because they're still working on that search and rescue effort. But you can just see these are homes. These were once amazing homes right here on the water on Front Street, and they're just gone. Anchor David Ono of our Los Angeles station KABC on the ground here too. Right here behind me is a classic Lahaina neighborhood. And as you can see, the devastation is vast. Many, many homes on this one city block have gone up in flames. Al Chrysostomo escaping, but fearing his home is gone. It was a huge black smoke back then. And I, I, it's indescribable. Tonight, terrifying new video of the moments those flames overtook this town. People forced to drive through walls of fire and suffocating smoke. The harrowing escape. Fire's on Front Street! Boat crew member Dustin Johnson racing to warn others about the oncoming flames. If anybody's still out here, the fire is on Front Street and it is time to go! Sean Doherty and his girlfriend among those jumping into the ocean. At one point, it seemed like my drowned. They inhaled a lot of water. He says a first responder told them to get out. The situation wasn't going to get better, but Doherty was now barefoot. And I couldn't even make it across the street because the pavement was so hot. And now I have second degree burns on the bottom of my feet. Jumping back into the water and losing track of his girlfriend. And because it was so dark and so smoky, um, we lost, lost each other. I, I had no choice. I had to get back into the water. He is still trying to find her. Multiple fires are still burning on this island. Hawaii Air National Guard helicopters swooping in, joining the firefight. Important cultural and historic landmarks destroyed. The historic buildings that were there, the church, the prison, the uh, uh, mission house, all these different things are gone forever. They can't be replaced. They can't be rebuilt. It's still not clear tonight how many people are missing and how many have been injured. But one glimmer of hope. On Wednesday, we met Steve Scott, who got separated from his wife, Patricia. I, I'm trying to find my wife. I know she's safe. I, I'm, I think she's safe, um, but I haven't found her yet. Late word tonight, she is okay and they are now reunited. Relieved to hear that, a heartwarming update amid so much loss. Gio joins us now live from Maui. And Gio, I know that you have late news from the governor there. What's he saying? Well, Lindsay, we just learned that moments ago, the governor walked through Lahaina and he described it as total devastation. And as we saw for ourselves, it truly is. Mm, Lindsay. Just so devastating. Gio, our thanks to you.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.